Hello and welcome. In this video, let's understand how we can use Swagger UI in .NET 9 or .NET 10. I have opened up my Visual Studio and here I have created a web API project. If you notice here, this is the default project that will be created if you are using .NET 9 or .NET 10. If you come back to program.cs, you will notice there is no code related to the Swagger because Microsoft has removed Swagger as the default open API package. If you expand dependencies, you can notice here we have this package microsoft.aspnet core.open API. And if I run my application, you can see here my application is running at this endpoint. Let's open this and let's go to open API slash v1.json. You can notice we have this open API document here, which is specifying which endpoints are present in my web API project. You can see here we have this weather forecast, and this is the operation that is available in this weather forecast API. And we have the schema details also, like which kind of data we will be getting if we invoke this particular endpoint. So we have this open API document, but we don't have the swagger here. If I duplicate this tab, and go to swagger slash index.html, you will notice I'm getting 404 because now by default, we will not get the swagger UI support. We need to manually install it. So let's do that. I will right click on my dependencies. And first of all, I need to stop my project. And now right click on the dependencies and click on manage new grid packages. Go to browse and search for Swagger here. And we need to get this particular package that is Swagger UI. I will click on this and I will click on install and I will click on apply. Now, if you notice the Swagger UI package is also added in my project. Now let's see how we can use this and enable Swagger in our project. Go to program.cs file and here where we are mapping this open API, we need to say app dot use swagger ui and we need to specify some option here so i will say options such that options dot and we need to set the swagger endpoint so we need to set this using this particular method swagger endpoint method and this method will take two parameters first where we have the open api document and second one is the name of that document. Name of that document, we can give anything. Let's say open API v1. And we know where we have the open API document. If I go to my browser again, you can see here at this URL, we have this documentation. So let's copy this URL and come back here and paste it right here. Okay. Now let's run the program. My application is running. And if I try to go to Swagger now and refresh this page, you can notice we are able to open Swagger and we have this endpoint available here. We can do try it out and click on execute and get the required data. Okay. So guys, this is how you can enable Swagger UI in your web API project if you're using .NET version 9 or 10.